and good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, I will uh, give you a mm. talk titled uh, "Attempt to Isolate Hazel to Uncultured Fungi." Uh, the Hazel to here means um, the strings are already in are already in the environment, but we cannot isolate or culture them uh, based on the current techniques. So. Um, uh, in 2005, the Science Journal uh, listed uh, 125 uh, big and important scientific questions, and one of them is how many species are there on Earth? Um, so, working on the uh, diversity is very important, and um, for the biological resources, uh, we have the animal, plant, and the microbes. And uh, I uh, focus on the fungi, um, an important part of the microbes. And so now we, uh, there are about 140,000 fungal species have been normally described. And uh, this number is keeping, um, is keep, uh, so, uh, this number is um, continue to increase by 1,000 per year. And, uh, um, so um, we want to know uh, what's the total number of the fungal species and the many um, One plant species, uh, the 1.5 million, is a widely accepted conservative hypothesis of the fungal diversity. And this number now uh, is updated to 2.2 to 3.8 million. Um, uh, but we, we know um, most micro, uh, microbes are uncultured. Um, look at the three uh, domains of the microbes for fungi. Uh, for fungi, uh, um, um, only about 140,000 were described because if we want to describe a, de describe a new uh, fungal species, we need the pure culture. Um, um, this number is, um, means um, only less than 6% six, six of the fungal species have been cultured. And for bacteria, in total of 61 phyla, have been reported, of which 31 have no um, cultivatable representatives. Uh, this number may updated in recent years. And for the archaea, the tree of the archaea is uh, updating. So far, only about 600 archaea species have been cultured, and at least 28 phyla are uncultured. Um, so, um, in, if there are so uh, many uncultured uh, microbes, which will um, greatly limit our understanding of the uh, of the uh, diversity. Uh, why most of the microbes are so difficult to be cultivated? Uh, based on the several many studies, previous studies, so maybe um, they need uh, various um, growing conditions such as pH temperature or oxygen concentration, and they may uh, require unknown substrates uh, because some studies showed if we um, add additional uh, vitamin or short peptides, we can obtain more um, microbes. And um, also, um, many of them are oligotrophic. They are very sensitive to the high concentration of the nutrient. And uh, um, for the um, medium, we use the um, frequently. Um, it's a very high uh, concentra uh, concentration of the nutrients. And uh, also many uh, my, uh, microorganisms, they are slow uh, growers. They can be covered by the quick growers 
to be ignored uh, during the culture uh, process. And um, um, also, uh, just um, for the number five, uh, they are very uh, much dependent dependent on other microbes, such as the first speaker just uh, showed the cold culture um, of some special uh, bacteria, and um, and also they um, actually in the environment they live in a community, but not a pure single individual. Um, but for fun for the fungi or or the microbes, we usually um, isolate them um, and uh, culture them separately. So at the beginning of the culture, we already um, per, uh, abstract the signal exchange between them. Um, and also some uh, streams may in the dormant state, uh, which means they are viable but not culturable. So um, based on the several um, Special uh, characteristics of the microorganisms. Uh, there are many new isolation techniques for the unculturable fungi um, or the unculturable uh, microbes. Um, the uh, the culture conditions uh, optimization. Um, this is a widely or frequently used way. Um, uh, no matter in bacterial or fungi, and um, um, also in the 2000, uh, some uh, scientists proposed the in uh, the in situ cultivation. Um, they designed the i chip uh, yeah. set settings, and uh, also for the bacterial and archaea, um, many screens were new uh, uh, new uh, tensor. Are published based on the enrichment or the co cultivation uh, methods. And um, in very recent, just uh, this year, uh, just this month, uh, this month, um, CROSS, uh, they uh, proposed a reverse genomics way to isolate the new bacterial, uncultured bacteria. Um, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, there is no um, fungi example. Uh, so, um, and also some uh, new techniques, they are actually not suitable for fungi, such as reverse genomics, we cannot use that for fungi. So we plan to try the cultural conditions optimi uh, optimization as the in-situ um, cultivation first. Um, so what we have done, we collected the lake sediment uh, in Beijing Olympic Green Park. And um, uh, made the uh, inoculum suspension, um, diluted it to different uh, uh, concent different concentration. So for the uh, cultivation, uh, we set the um, traditional traditionally uh, diluting method to um, uh, culture on the two hundred uh, twenty five centigrade without uh, on the PDA plate twenty five. Uh, uh, this way, 25 N as a control, and uh, we also set other three treatments. Um, the V means um, in the medium we uh, add the vitamin um, and set to um, <coughs> growing temperature 25 centigrade and 4 centigrade. Um, and uh, we also designed the I chip, the I chip for fungi. And, and I will show the details of this uh, this method uh, in the next slide. And, and uh, uh, we consider the um, if we use the amplicant sequencing method, we can know almost the um, uh, the fungal diversity from uh, environmental samples. So we compared the isolation results of these two methods and the amplicant sequencing to uh, evaluate the isolation effects of these two methods. Um, so, uh, and here is the handmade eye chip for fungi. We used a 96 uh, well plate. Um, uh, at the beginning, uh, we used a 5 gram sediment 
to uh, 400 milliliter water um, to obtain the original inoculum suspension and uh, um, diluted it to a very low concentration, uh, which uh, approximately a single spore or a single high fee uh, fragment. Uh, fragment per microliter. Then uh, we uh, inject uh, 150 microliter agar and one microliter uh, inoculum suspension to each well. After that, we cover a, a, man, a membrane um, on the top surface of the 96 well uh, plate. Um, the diameter of the membrane is 0 0.22 uh, microliter, which means the, um, the molecules um, or the substrings in, um, in the environment can go through freely, uh, uh, go through freely from, uh, from the membrane to, the, to each well, but the um, uh, but the uh, single spore or the single high fragment will not go out. Uh, and then, uh, traditional way, if we want to uh, preliminary know or identify a fungal, uh, fungal stream, we will extract the DNA and um, amplify the ITS whole sequence, uh, then to blast uh, on the on the NCBI. Um, but uh, if we have hundreds or even thousands of strings, we still use this where we will waste a lot of money and uh, a lot of time. So we designed the barcode sequencing for quick ident uh, identification. Um, we, um, we use the ITS2 sequence uh, because this sequence uh, is widely used for the environmental applicant sequencing. Um, and, um, um, uh, we also compared if we use the ITS2 and the ITS whole uh, sequence, the identification results uh, 95% and uh, are consistent. So and uh, so we use the um, this two primer to um, uh, to amplify the ITS2, but for the forward uh, we modified. Uh, a barcode one, and uh, the reverse way uh, we modified by the barcode two, and we designed twenty four uh, barcodes here. Um, uh, so, for example, uh, uh, in the line A and the line B, we modified the the primer uh, forward way is A one, um, but the reverse way is from A one to A twenty four. Um, other uh, this uh, uh, other lines are the same way we use. Um, uh, then uh, we extract the DNA uh, separately and amplify with the with the barcode uh, modified primers and uh, uh, mix their PCR production um, to uh, um, to create a macro DNA and send to um, the sequencing company. Um, uh, sequenced on the Illumina platform. Uh, that may uh, only spend, spend a very low price. Uh, and uh, when we obtain the, uh, the sequence, we will separate the, um, the sequences of every group line based on the um, forward barcode. And then uh, to separate each, each stream based on the reverse barcode. Um, so uh, then we look at the results. So the first uh, we uh, evaluate, uh, evaluate the temperature on fun uh, fungal genomic diversity. Um, so here, compared to the 25 <coughs> degree, lower temperature is beneficial for capturing uh, the cytotoxic fungi, resulting in different fungal species composition. Um, uh, so we look at here uh, in the in the 4N and 4B treatments, the geomyces and the CDO geo uh, These two genera are, are very uh, they are the classic uh, cy cytophilic fungi, and we only isolate them 
uh, in the lower temperature, uh, but in the normal temperature, we cannot uh, obtain them. And uh, uh, then we look at the the vitamin. Uh, so at those four centigrade and twenty five centigrade, with the additional uh, additional vitamins, the generic diversity of the isolated fungi is significantly increased by two hundred and seven percent and eighty one percent. That's huge. Um, so you will find in the four V and the twenty five V, we up, we obtain many specific general. Otherwise, we cannot. Um, and then uh, we look at the eye chip uh, to see whether this way uh, have some advantages. The first is the higher diversity. So we can, uh, that's the control. That's the traditional um, um, dilution pla plate method. Um, so compared with the 25 <coughs> and more specific general were isolated. And some were even more sequences from the uh, environmental samples. Um, so here, this general, we can obtain, um, we can detect it by the amplicon sequencing and also uh, cultured based on the i chip method, uh, but not in this method. And also for the i chip, uh, we obtain several um, specific genera. Uh, this uh, uh, even not detected by the uh, amplicon sequencing. Maybe uh, uh, these uh, streams have a very low concentration to be sequenced, to be sequenced uh, by this way. And um, also we know in, in the environment the abundances of fungal species are significant uh, different. Um, some may have a high concentration, some, may, uh, some uh, streams are very, uh, may be very low. Uh, if we use the traditional plating method, the faster growing species are much easier to be isolated and they can cover um, the, the, slowing, the, the slower growing species. Uh, so we use the two indexes, the, the Shannon Vina H and the species in, um, Evanese, these two indexes to estimate the diversity and the evidence of the isolated sample. So uh, for the environmental sample, um, uh, these two values are the highest. And, um, two values, uh, and the i chip method, uh, uh, the values are much closer to the environmental sample, uh, which means the in situ culture method um, may uh, remove the uh, inhibition effect of the fossil growing species on the slower slower growing species. And um, uh, the new um, technique uh, we designed, um, the final aim is to find more new taxa to, complete, to completely know the fungal diversity. So we um, evaluate, evaluated the, um, the capture rate of the new taxa. Uh, if we use the ITS2, um, so uh, for the different methods, we only use the ITS2 sequence. And um, uh, if we set the, uh, the identity of the ITS2 lower than 97%, so we, uh, we think this may be a potential new taxa. Um, so uh, in the traditional way, we didn't find even one. Um, other ways we find several at the i chip way. Uh, we obtain the highest number. And um, if the identity is even higher, even lower than 90%, that may be a very higher order new taxa. Uh, and we only find uh, some, uh, some uh, culture isolates based on the i chip way. So in a situ uh, cultivation, shown the higher possibility to capture new taxa, even including higher order taxa. And here is a summary. Uh, at both 4 centigrade and 25 centigrade, the additional vitamins in the medium significantly increase the diversity of isolated fungi, and the increments reached to um, 
207 percent and 91 percent as a generic level. And the, the IGP way showed significant advantages in the uh, in the, the efficiency <coughs> of isolation, capture rate of unknown fungi, diversity and illness of the isolation. And we also show the barcode sequen sequencing way supplies a um, quick and cheap way to study fungal diversity for environmental samples. Um, that's all. Thank you for listening to my report.